Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you a really awesome app that came out. And the first thing you want to do is go to the Google Play Store right here, and you want to download the video for Android Wear and YouTube. Alright, so let's go now and hit open. And you want to connect it to a YouTube account right here, so just select a YouTube account that you have. And it's going to take a couple minutes while it's trying to sync in everything, I guess. And it looks like I just got a pop-up on my watch. If you don't get this pop-up on your watch, it says Video Tube then you're probably going to have to reset your watch by holding down the button right here for about 15 seconds if you don't get that pop-up. But luckily I got that pop-up. And touch to install. So let's go ahead and do that. And now it's installed on my watch. That's really cool. So right here. So let's go ahead and choose some. Let's choose a playlist right here and what else popular I chose let's choose recommended okay so let's go ahead and give it a whirl and see what happens so I'm gonna use my side launcher bubble cloud and it has all my favorites right here on the side which is kind of cool and there it is that's my YouTube app for my wear watch now there's two ways to watch your YouTube videos and one way to watch YouTube videos is on Wi-Fi, your router. So you don't even need your phone at that point. You can just play all your YouTube videos straight from your watch to a Bluetooth speaker. And that's probably going to give you the best results. Less lag and more reliability on your connection. And so next, you want to connect your Bluetooth device. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's connect my Bluetooth device. Turn on my Bluetooth speaker. So there it is right there, your YouTube app. Click on that, test it out. So there's all my playlists from my YouTube channel, well, my son's YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and look up a YouTube video, hit search, and I'll type in my YouTube video so I don't get flagged. Tampa Tech. Search. Here we go. There's a couple videos right here. So let's choose that one. Let me see if it plays. It should play. I don't see why not. It's loading. It's on Wi Fi, so it should work a little bit faster than the Bluetooth connection. Because we're uh, strictly independent from my phone now. My phone could be turned off, and this should still work. And it's, oh, there it goes. It's loading, I guess. It's loaded. Oh, actually, get a picture. Oh, there it goes. Oh, cool. All right, so. Welcome to the Tampa Tech channel. Cool. This is my new channel trailer. And you can pause it. You can play this it. This year. And then, then this year, oh, we're going to be doing skip. more house. Let's TV. try to skip. Oh, yeah, the annotations even come up. That's pretty amazing. By then. And, and it cool. does. It we'll skips. So, and I was getting a little volume. bit overwhelmed by any questions on cool. my uh, YouTube channel, so. Hopefully this will help and you out better. Swipe and over. Oh, it tells me the description. You guys, personally, which is cool. That's like cool. It gives me the, the, like the video description as well. I have a degree in computer uh, electronics. More videos. I have Ten years experience in uh, TV installation. And I can cast it to my TV. And hopefully I'll be That's able pretty to help amazing. out. You know, whatever. And open on phone. Even if it's like advice, if you need some tech-related. So I can actually cast music videos from my watch straight to my TV. So don't forget to subscribe if you want that We are first. officially in the future. That's freaking amazing. And some people are going to be like, oh, that's stupid. You can watch YouTube videos on your watch. You can just use your phone. I don't know. Maybe your phone's dead. Or maybe you want to save battery life on your phone. Maybe you just want something cool on your watch. But I think this is awesome. If you're at a party and you go like pull up all these music videos and play them on your Bluetooth speaker, I mean, that's kind of cool. Well, you know what you think. So that's how you uh, play YouTube videos and listen to YouTube videos straight off your watch via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Let me know if this video was informative. Give me a thumbs up. And if you want more videos coming your way like this, subscribe to Tampa Tech and share this video to anyone that has a smartwatch. And here's another video. Let's test it out. I'm going to show you how long it loads actually. And I have, looks like, uh, four bars on my Wi-Fi. We're using it on Wi-Fi. On Bluetooth, sometimes it uh, lags or crashes, so I like to use it on Wi-Fi. 
and the LG uh, Watch R, the new update. Uh, there is no Wi-Fi, but some people hacked their L the LG Watch R watches, and that for some reason it has Wi-Fi. So I don't know if that's true or not, but it works pretty good. You can see right here. I think this is like phenomenal. Hey guys, it's Tab Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read the voltages on the press play board, main logic board, and going to the inverter board. I'm going to show you what to do and what not to do. And so, if you don't have the service manual for a sample, yeah, it works. It looks HD to me. It works pretty nice and smooth. Uh, the only thing is, is, I wish I could open up the screen so it's the full screen. But otherwise, I'm just happy to have like stuff like this on my watch. E5271 then this probably would help you. I'm going to tell you what board does what and what comp problems are related to what board. I'm also going to leave a link in the video description below for common TV repairs.